What's up, guys? Welcome to Cineverm. This yep. week, oh, my name is Anthony Renteria. With <laughs> me is Chelsea. Yes. Uh, we watched a foreign film this week. Anthony's uh, first Korean yes. film. My first South Korean film oh, yeah, South experience Korean. ever. My, if... It's my second, the first ever movie I watched um, from a South Korean uh, director was the movie CJ7. Mm. And I really like that movie. Yes. I want to show it to you one day, actually. Dude, we should review it on Cinever. Yeah. But uh, the film we watched this week was Burning, uh, directed by Lee Chang Dong, uh, starring Yo Ah Hen, mm-hmm. Steven Yun, and Jun Jong Seo. And there's three writers. Yeah, but uh, you can find. More of the credits on IMDb. Yeah, we're definitely I, I don't wanna, butchering their names right now. I don't want to ruin their everyone. names. But uh, basically, this I don't really want to read the synopsis that it gives because I feel like it actually has a spoiler in it. And uh, But basically, this film is just about uh, mid-20s. What do you think he's mid-20s? No. No, early 20s? Like so, you know... You're talking about the main character? Yeah. Yeah. This film is about a young man. And he uh, is just going through life, you know, and life ain't that good. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all you need to know. And it's set in Korea. There's Mm -hmm. a girl involved. And there's some mystery. That's Mm it. I I don't recommend you reading anything else because it It does spoil. Yeah. And the film plays things very straight and on the nose. So it won't take long for it to be ruined. But um, also... It only cost five dollars to rent, so it's not that big of a deal. That's like half of a theater ticket. But uh, excuse me, sorry, I'm burping. I do want to say if you uh, love foreign films, that I think you would probably be interested in this. If you are already familiar with South Korean films, then you probably heard about this and you're probably interested in it. But for all the other people who haven't really dabbled into foreign films, this is. At least for me, a very, very slow film. Mm -hmm. And I say very with a capital V. And I I thought you were going (laughs) to say... Never mind. What? I thought you were going to say with a capital B. Because I heard Barry. Like, what is this man talking about? (laughs) Barry's. Mm. But yeah, so I... This is probably one of the first films where I would say I wouldn't recommend to a lot of people. (laughs) What? Yeah. I would recommend this to anyone who believes in the Illuminati. Oh, shit. Anyone know, who has ever thought there has has ever thought of themselves as an avid puzzle solver, this is your movie. And that's a very big mm-hmm. pool of people. Yeah. I know, I follow them on Instagram. I'm just kidding. I don't have an Instagram. <laughs> but yeah, this this film plays basically out like a drama slash mystery film. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, go into it thinking that it's obviously very low-key indie kind of movie. I don't know, there's... We get into it in the spoilers, so if you have already seen the film, you can go over there. I don't know, I was very conflicted with this movie. Mm. Uh, just shot design... Well, visually... Cinematography and the director did brilliant work. Mm-hmm. They did some compositions that I've never seen before, and just the way he, uh, what is the word? Blocking. Yeah, the blocking. Very fascinating. Uh, I get into it more into the spoilers, but if you are a film buff and you like nice shot designs and cinematography, I think you will get something out of this film for sure. Um, I guess. Also, I want to I want to recommend seeing this movie by yourself. Oh yes. Because. I have seen the movie called There Will Be Blood and it's so slow Mm. that if I know 100% that if I were to experience it with someone else, I would probably have gone distracted and not watched the whole thing. And this movie kind of felt like that. I did watch it with Anthony, but when I choose to watch it again, I would more, more likely than not watch it by myself. Yeah, Because you do get such a different feeling from it. Absolutely. And it's not only slow, but it's two and a half hours long. Yes. So long. Get some... Don't get any crunchy stuff to eat. Get some gummies so you don't ruin the scenes, but... 
Mm. For sure, get some snacks. Yeah. I do love uh, how this film showed a lot of Korea in a very flat way. And I mean that by saying that in a glamorous way or whatever. It just mm. felt you're, that's it is what it is kind of thing. Mm. And uh, It uh, felt very relatable. Yeah. Because well, even in parts of the movie, it showed bits of Trump and oh. how he, in his way, he would fix whatever problems that they were basically that he was expressing we in the u.s had but also in korea they had them as well oh, yes. so and even not the same necessarily the same but it more um so it was worse in korea mm. than in the u.s yeah it's very in- unemployment yeah it's very interesting because it's almost as if i've seen we've seen what was the we watched the french movie on netflix Mm-hmm. And there was also parallels to the whole Trump thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's almost as if a lot of countries, it seems just humanity right now is going through this period of you're either... Trying to isolate themselves. Yeah. Everyone's either trying to super isolate themselves or super themselves. Inclu- be super inclusive. And it's like a war that's happening. And uh, it makes a lot of sense because... This whole this whole reasoning is now everyone has a voice, mm. and that is a positive, and there's a negative, the good and the evil. And I'm not saying whatever side is evil, but everyone is being forced into the corner more and more and more and more, mm-hmm. and that's what's happening right now. It seems like not just in the U.S. but in the world. It's just really interesting how here a lot of people don't agree with what our president is saying. Yet, everyone in the world is hearing it. Mm. So, it's the thought of who, what man is going to listen to this other figure that is in power and think, um, I'm going to adopt similar ways to mm. do things. Yeah. Whether it be for a good cause or a bad cause, it's just very dangerous, I think, mm. kind of, to have someone who's already trying to go the extra route to probably manipulate someone and get empowered yeah. to have a perfect example where they can study through tweets or through just oh, recordings yes. and it's all right there mm. everything you need to know it's right there and the internet and is it's old. not limited but uh back to the film i i liked all the performances they were very solid the main actor especially did a good job doing his role mm-hmm um, the the main actress also does well, and then there's a, another actor mm-hmm. who also does a pretty good job. Yes. Um, the music I, I loved. It has this jazzy, like, old-school detective movie vibe. Like, boom, Are boom, you boom. Good? It had a very jazzy beat. Yeah. Um, I like the editing as well. Uh, there was a lot of scenes where you just kind of lingered. So that was really interesting to watch. Mm -hmm. But what did you think? Is there any other things you want to say? But this is a mystery from Mm. beginning to end. Yeah. This is one of those films where it's kind of hard to talk about in detail because it's a mystery. So we can't really spoil shit. So it's kind of all said and done in the spoiler talk. Mm -hmm. And the the less we talk about it, the better it'll be for you. Mm -hmm. Um, But there was... A big aspect that I know you loved, especially that is the spoiler. Yes. And you, I know in the spoiler you were saying that they handled it very well, and it was very, very interesting. Mm-hmm. And I and I would agree with that as well. Yeah. To wrap it up, it would be that this review is very short because mm-hmm. of that whole mystery part. Yeah. And we hope you do get to watch this movie, but also expect that it's a slow film. Very slow. What would you give it at a 10 again? 7. Mm, 7 out seven of 10. Out of 10 Who would you recommend it to? Oh, um, uh, mm, mm, if you like Silent of the, Silence of the Lamb, Ooh. you'll like this movie. Mm. If you liked, um, what is that movie with Jake Gyllenhaal? Nightcrawler? Nightcrawler. Oh. You'll like this movie. Mm. If you liked, um, <laughs> I can't, I can't remember right now. I'm so tired. Mm. But for sure, those two <laughs> movies. If you like those two mm. movies, I think you would for sure appreciate mm. this one. Yeah. Um. Uh, 
I gave it a 8.8 8 out of 10, mm -hmm. which uh, is still kind of high score, but I do say that with a lot of bias because I, as many of you know, I'm an aspiring filmmaker. So just on a technical craft level, this film is just excels at so many levels. Mm -hmm. But on a connection thing, I, I think I need to watch it again. Because, By yourself. Yeah, there was, I didn't really connect with it the way I, it should have. I'm guessing it's just me thing, but also I feel like the film does attempt to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And for me personally, that is kind of a negative. Um, there's a lot of themes and ideas that the film kind of sprinkles in. And I just wish it would have dived, the, or I wish it would have dug deeper into those things. All of those things are spoilers. <gasps> okay. This movie is a screaming voice you can't hear. Mm, that's a good metaphor. There you go. Yeah. But with that being said, unless you really love cinematography, who I would recommend it to, are people who really love cinematography, who really love quiet films, who really love foreign films, who also really love South Korean films, I think you would get something out of this. Mm -hmm. But I think for everyone else, I don't I don't know if I would actually recommend it to how I normally <laughs> recommend it to everyone. I to think average mo. Yeah, I, I I don't know. If you like mystery films, I think you you would get something out of it. But I'm it is telling you the Illuminati people. They but it is so long and it's <laughs> so slow. The fact that I've said that five times in a row should cue you in. And I'm not trying to tell people not to watch it because I do think it is a really great piece of work but be prepared yeah you, you if you like there will be blood well then that's the other thing there's i don't think uh, they will like it yeah. if they like there will yeah. be blood i'm trying to think of a movie that's comparable and i i don't think i've watched the movie this slow this might be one of the slowest films i've ever seen in my life mm -hmm. and i don't know it's so quiet <laughs> like mm -hmm. there is no big moment even the previous slowest one of the quietest films I've seen was First Reformed. Mm -hmm. And that movie is freaking loud as shit compared to this. Yep. And I don't know. So take that with a grain of salt and some pepper. Yep. Uh, thanks for listening to our review. We're a little tired, so shit might not make sense anymore. <laughs> but uh, just watch out. <laughs> our spoiler is coming out. We are in the same delirious condition, so don't mm. expect any difference. Yeah. But this movie is amazing. I would say it's fantastic. Mm. But uh, email us at Cineverm if you confused and you're like, man, I don't know if I should watch it. I don't really understand. And I don't want to go to the spoilers. And I need Cineverm's help because you are the best movie review podcast in the world. And I just need... <laughs> Help, uh, should I watch the movie? Email us and we will give you the exact prescription. Prescription? The exact answer. See, I'm thinking about drugs now. Shit. Is that how <laughs> tired you are? Yeah. Keep it. Keep I'm it, so tired. I'm high. Keep it sleazy. I mean, keep it cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Cut. <laughs> Cheese it. Cheese it? <laughs> Look, I tried to repeat what you said, but I just said cheese. <laughs>